One of the reasons why I love working in open source is the rate at which you can deliver new features, updates, and the rate at which these features get adopted by the community. I have never seen this in any other industry, uh, or m maybe I just don't know. But this is a, I think this revolution is caused by mostly open source software and some platforms like GitHub, and even other platforms like uh, Replit and things like that. But I mostly use GitHub. So in the last video, I said that we are working on something really good, and and uh, the the term that I used was some epic stuff uh, and I wanted to I mean it's, it's a bit delayed uh, but still you know it's software you, it, 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 it takes time so we just launched last week support for classification in Yolo v5 version 6.2 this is the simplest classification workflow that you'll ever come across at this point and it's also most exportable it's it can be ported to any platform. Essentially, you can think of this update as Yolo v5 doing for classification what it did for detection. You know, it's, it's the simplest detection framework. There have been so many Yolo derivatives, mostly out of Yolo v5 because it's a milestone repository. And there have been some exciting improvements. So I'll just talk a little bit about what we introduce and uh, other things that you might be interested in. There, there are kind of uh, limited to classification or exclusive to classification, I should say. So this feature, uh, this feature update mostly, the, the most major feature here is classification models. So we have YOLO v5 CLS models that are pre-trained on ImageNet uh, and ClearML logging. So we are now integrated with ClearML. So it's an open source uh, experiment tracking and management tool. So you can use that if you're into ClearML. Desi AI optimizations, it's, uh, Desi AI now supports YOLO v5 automatically so you can export or quantize YOLO v5 models in one click at Desi AI. Then there's uh, some smaller uh, but important improvements such as GPU export benchmarks, trading re reproducibility. This is something that it was kind of a rabbit hole that we went into. Uh, well, you, you would think that it's sim very simple to just set the seeds and then you will have reproducibility. It's it's not, even for single GPU. Uh, for multi-GPU, it's even uh, more difficult, but we'll, we'll get there someday. And then there is a Apple uh, Metal Performance Shader support, which is kind of working, but it's it's uh, for full functionalities, we're waiting on some torch updates. So here's how it looks. It supports webcam, uh, video, and images, and you can also stream results. So uh, at the top left corner, you will see top five labels. So here is a uh, an image of space shuttle. So it tells you uh, space shuttle, projectile, missile, pole, and flagpole. So these are like top five uh, predictions. Now let's look at the models. So the fun fact here is that we are not limited to Yolo v5 classification models. We provide support to train or to infer on or to validate all the models that are available on Torch Hub as well. So all these models, ResNet, EfficientNet, you can use them as well, as long as they are available in Torch Hub, officially supported by Torch Hub. Uh, and so you will see there are some improvements in the models also, or, or I should say some trade-offs. So for example, here you see Yolo V5X performs best out of the best, but and it's also faster while training. So it takes 15 hours to train, while EfficientNet B3, which comes closest to it in the performance sector, it, 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 it takes 19 hours, but then, if you compare the Onyx CPU inference, it's much slower. It's it's close to that in, in Tensor RT. Um, number of parameters is much higher. So you know there are some trade-offs. If you compare the M model, it's uh, it takes almost half the time of training, but it's also very close in the accuracy. So maybe this is kind of kind of trade-off you want. You just train ten hours and you don't lose a lot of you know accuracy, even though you're just training for. 50% of the time, and the speed is much faster on CPU, 50% uh, faster on GPU, um, parameters are almost the same, so, you know, some nice results, and this is just the first version, we've just launched it, and we have not done a lot of R&D here, so there's a lot more coming. Um, yeah, but but it's, it's not just about the models and performance, Yolo V5 always does, 
what what your life does the best is simplify everything so that it's perfectly accessible uh, and you don't have to be an expert engineer to use these features so uh, i'll just show you what other things that we've done so if you go to uh, well here in the release notes you will find all of the pre-trained models available for download um, so here uh, you will see that there's a classific classify folder so this classify folder contains three top level files that are well trained and predict and these three files are same as detection you know top level functionality predict train and validation we automatically detect if you have augmentations installed and we'll apply some nice augmentations also so training is super simple if you scroll down here you will find the classification section and you'll find the checkpoints and some notes and some usage examples so the usage is pretty simple python classify slash train dot py and you can choose any model you want by default it will train on s model and then you can pass in any data set you want we support all of the data set that torch vision supports so you can just pass that name of the data set and it will automatically download it and if you want you can just export data from platforms like roboflow and you, it, it accepts any folder structure so you can also create your own classification data set and to predict you can just do python classify predictor py and you can pass in the weights that you want and it's also it also supports real time inference so that's that's what's new here we are coming coming up soon with a with a collab notebook for classification just like detection so you will know more about that in in the future but uh, for now i can just show you what it's going to look like a little bit so this is the classification tutorial by roboflow coming soon if you see right here um, in classify folder this will soon be available with some improvements but essentially this shows how you can use roboflow to uh, set up uh, data set for yolo v5 classifier so as you all know data set should be of this structure and you can just export folder structure from roboflow and just pass it in data and you're good to go so right here you pass the data set name if it's found on torch vision it will be downloaded if it's not on local directory otherwise it will just search uh, on local directory so let me just show you some results uh, see some cute cat pictures here so i am in my master branch i will just run python classify predict py and i'll let it use uh, the default s or n model and i have some data here in images so let's see how how many uh, of these images get get classified so i'll just come down to my runs predict classification ninth experiment and let's see so here i have it's uh, some corgi maybe I, I i'm not an expert but yeah uh, does a pretty good job yep cat and then there's like variety of cats in imagenet so it's just trained on imagenet uh and so you see that this is how you can expect this results uh i haven't tried running it on like before this making this video i haven't tried running this on a video so maybe i should have tried it but i'm not sure and it should start a python it's just a google street view uh yep it's it's pretty much in real time and I'll just uh, pause this after a while. So it's taxi cab, uh, mailbox. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's a confusing uh, input even. So you get the idea. If you, uh, I'm just trying to show you how the the real time inference looks like, uh, because this is not at all trained on cars data set or human recognition data set. But if you have some car, that, that kind of data set, here's how you can just run this in real time, and you will see uh the result uh, uh the, the labels in the real time right so uh, that's the, the simplification of uh, deployment uh, aspect of yolo v5 but then there's also the ease of training that that i've just showed you and this together uh combined and this together combined is, is the complete package that you get uh, the easiest way to train state-of-the-art classification model and to test it and to export it to any platform uh, on, on any edge device if you want so 
that is guaranteed with this all right i'll just end it now and yeah uh that's it for this video i think i i am a bit late on this announcement because i said that i mean i expected this to be like last week but I, i've been too lazy so anyway um yeah again uh i will say that this isn't the most exciting thing that we've been working on what we've been working on is a segmentation support and i have already opened up the pr here so the work is going on and it's going to be the best segmentation model that you've ever seen it's not even it's not going to be close to state of the art it's going to be the state of the art so stay tuned uh i'll try to be more regular but you know i'm just too lazy i don't know uh so yeah uh see you next time goodbye until then